On this episode of South Hall Computing, we'll be installing the DDWRT firmware and tomato firmware on the Cisco E2000, and that's coming up next. Warning, the following video is performed by a trained professional. It is meant for educational purposes only. Please do not attempt to try anything you see here. Enjoy. Hey YouTube, Dan from South Hall Computing, and today we're going to be installing the DDWRT firmware as well as the Tomato firmware on the Cisco E2000. As always, in our lab we like to install DDWRT first because that always gives us the greater success of installing the firmware without breaking the unit. So let's go ahead and get right to it. We're going to start by doing a 30-30-30, which is pressing the reset button for 30 seconds, unplugging the unit for another 30 seconds while still holding that reset button, and then replugging the power in for another 30 seconds. So let's give that a try. After you've successfully done your 30-30-30, you'll notice that the power light is solid again, which means it's ready to be logged into. Once you've successfully plugged in the Ethernet into this router, now we're going to move over to the computer portion of this tutorial. To install the DDWRT firmware, we need to acquire the initial firmware for this, and that can be done off the DDWRT wiki page for the E2000 here, and the link will be provided below. But first, we've already downloaded the initial flash file for the DDWRT firmware. So we need to log into the actual router to upload this firmware file, and we do this by opening up a web browser and typing in the following address. 192.168.1.1 When you're asked for a password, the username is admin and the password is also admin and then hit OK. Next up, we're going to go to, I believe it's administration and firmware upgrade. Here, we're going to browse to our DDWRT firmware that we previously grabbed from their site. I'm going to say open and then we're going to say start upgrade. Once we hit this we're going to have to give the router 10 minutes to finish its upgrade. The simple way of resetting this unit is just by unplugging the power, waiting about 10 seconds, so... We'll wait for that status light to be solid before we attempt to sign back into the browser. Now that we've rebooted the router, we're going to just make sure that everything is working here. So I'm just going to hit refresh. Oh, yep. Looks like it just came back here. Good. And I'm just going to do the standard admin for username and standard admin for the password so we can get in. And there you go, you have the very basic DDWRT firmware on here. Now if you obviously want the later versions, you have to go track them down on the DDWRT website. But from here, we're going to install the Tomato firmware that we already have downloaded on this machine. 
So to upgrade the DDWRT to the tomato firmware, we're going to go to administration again. We're going to go to firmware upgrade. And here we're going to say after flashing reset to default settings. We're going to select the tomato firmware that we already have. Now mind you, this is a almost 6 meg firmware and the flashable memory is 8 meg. So we have more than enough room to accommodate this firmware. I'm going to say OK and upgrade. We're going to give it another 10 minutes for this. So here we go. Okay, so it's been another 10 minutes here, and obviously uh, the router is loaded with the tomato firmware from Shibby. It's uh, already reporting everything that we need to see here, and it's obviously hasn't and hasn't run into any issues. As we can see, everything is working nicely. I plan to use this router with the tomato firmware, so I need to make sure that I clear out the NVRAM. So where I went to administration there one second ago and the configuration was already selected and I'm going to restore default configuration and I'm going to say erase all data in the NVRAM memory and then I'm going to say OK and then it asks you if you're sure you just say OK to that And there you have it. We successfully installed the DDWRT firmware and the Tomato firmware on this particular router, the Linksys E2000 series. As always, if you like what you see here, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment, and even subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. This is Dan from Southall Computing, and as always, until the next time.